something that you like the halfway beat. Very simple, very simplistic. I have the 7-Eleven Prime Collection on the lips. Just something very neutral. Do you hear me? Something very neutral. Um, I really like this color a lot. As you guys can see, it actually comes off what it comes off on the lips. Like, my lips is way darker than this. So, yeah, this is super nude. I really do like this color. Like, this is the color for me. If you want to go nude, you can definitely use this. Period. So, these are the packages that I am going for. They are super cute. I like them a lot, okay? It's a perfect ratio, do you hear me? Like, this is just a cute little banana topper. You just out in the public, you feel me? You wanna be flamboyant a little bit, you feel me? Out there, characteristic, artistic. You feel me? Pull out your prime collection lip gloss and go nude on the asses. Like, wow. So this is a shade that I'm definitely keeping into the collection and that I will be using for self. But I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I have not put a label on here. This is just a one sample, one sample only. I just wanted to see if I'm gonna actually add this to the collection. So let's go ahead and try her on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so for this one, I like how tense it is. I like it. Okay, so another color that I wanna try, this is one of my favorite colors. Colors. And it's so sheer and peachy. Oh my goodness. I will always buy lip glosses, don't get me wrong, it's just inevitable for me to just buy different types of lip glosses. But, mine, I'm always whip up, do you hear me? Smooth, buttery, smooth, it's just a perfect peachy color. So cute, like I love it, I love it. I love how it looks and everything, like I love it, I just love it. I don't want to use it all. Like, this is one of my favorites. Hands down. It's one of my favorites for real, for real. Like, look at that. So dope. Like, I don't care, man. A lot of people don't like to mix up colors and shit like that. But me, I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm about to, I'm about to explore it. Like, I be having fun when I be making colors. Like... I'm gonna go ahead and try this blue. I've been wanting to try this blue on camera for quite some time. Now that we want camera, we might as well just go ahead and give it a whirl. Y'all, first off, let me just show y'all. Like, are you kidding me? It is just so freaking cute. A lot of people is gonna be like, girl, what do you see? Like. I don't know, I just like it, it's just super cute. These colors won't be like this, guys. It will be just the regular color. It will not have no type of defects in it. These are strictly mine, okay? These are strictly mine. Unless if you guys prefer those, want to purchase some of those that way, I have no problems, okay? As you guys can see, this one has just a little bit of red in it, and it smells like cotton candy, which is the crazy part. 
this blue is probably one of the most pigments out the entire bunch. I'm not even gonna lie. So this color is very pigmented. Okay, it's super cute. It's something like an editorial look. Like this is something that you would use if you really want to be creative or take some like cute little like photoshops. But I really do like this blue regardless. Okay, do you, do you keep? So do you keep super cute color super fun okay super out there super unique super different as you guys can see it matches the feng shui i just bought a bag this color i just bought some sandals this color it's just i love blue okay and this type of mauvey blue is a vibe to me so yeah it's, again it's totally different um i will be wearing this color